You guys, I am here with an absolute legend. What an honor to have you here. This is Michael Uslin. He is the executive producer and originator of all the Batman movies, the whole franchise. How amazing. And you just told me something pretty cool. You were smart enough to do what? Well, <laughs> this, this story requires a little context. Um, when I was in my 20s, a kid, basically, uh, I raised money privately with my partner, Ben Melnicker, who was a legend in the movie business uh, going back to 1939. He was my dad's age. And we approached the president of DC Comics and bought the movie and ancillary rights to Batman. I put it in my pocket, went out to Hollywood where I knew nobody, had no contacts, had no relatives, and not coming from money, I'm a blue collar kid from Jersey, um, went out and pitched an idea to do dark and serious Batman movies. That is incredible. And you had all this in your brain in your 20s. <laughs> I mean, that's amazing. So I take it you grew up loving comics then? You are looking at one of the ultimate comic book geeks. I mean, look at my tie, for God's sake. <laughs> it is a fantastic tie, first of all. I love it. And I don't even know much about comics, and I still love it. It's a great tie. It's a good matches, fashion choice. The oh, excellent. <laughs> um, by the time I graduated high school, I had over 30,000 comic books dating back to 1936. I went to the first Comic-Con ever held on the planet Earth in a flea bag rundown hotel in New York City. 200 of us showed up for the first Comic-Con. Wow. <laughs> uh, so I kind of was there from the beginning. When I was in college, I got a job and I wrote Batman comics and The Shadow and a number of comic book characters. And then I went on with the goal in my life to take everything that I love, comic books, Batman specifically, and make movies and animation, and TV, all based on the things I was most passionate about. Guys in tights. Kidding. <laughs> now, so, so Batman, I take it, is your ultimate comic book hero. He's your fave? Or do you have a new fave? There's more and more coming along all the time, and I don't know about the loyalty in your business. <laughs> you know what it comes down to? It's simply this. Batman is one of the only superheroes who has no superpowers. His greatest superpowers, I always contend, is his, great, is his humanity. And That's beautiful. I like that. Well, I think every kid growing up can identify with Batman. And in my heart of hearts, when I was eight years old, I really did believe that if I studied hard and worked out really hard, and if my dad bought me a cool car, I could be this guy. <laughs> so Batman's been it for me since I was eight. Well, that's great. What a motivation. And you grew up to be absolutely amazing, bringing joy to millions and millions of people. Even I know Batman, and I don't know much about comics, but he's fantastic. Thank you for this great gift. He's here at the Nova Fest receiving the Legend Award because what else do we call a guy like you? Congratulations on all your success, and thank you so much for everything that you've done for the film community. Amazing. You are quite a guy to look up to, and we're very excited to have you here. I appreciate it so much. Good luck at the fest. Thanks.